Say something. Something. <laughs> You're so annoying. Okay, I, I kind of feel like we should. Sh so first thing first, while this is recording, it's not a new day. I just legit changed shirts. Oh well, if you gonna put it like this, I ain't gotta wear my jacket. <laughs> shoot. I'm just saying, no. Okay, on. guys, we can edit that out. No, no. It's supposed to be a video that's informing people of something important. Now I have to be professional. Okay, come on, now. come on, come on. Okay. So today we wanted to do a video. Well, it's actually not today, like Tay said. It's the same day. We just decided to Whoa. change Tay's shirt and whatever. So, I mean, this is one of my favorite topics. I do believe that in order for your life to change, your mindset has to change, and you can't change your mindset by doing the same thing or reading the same thing or listening to the same thing or talking to the same people. Uh, when I was 14, my mom gave me an advice or gave me advice that stuck with me for a lifetime or that's gonna stick with me for a lifetime. If you can't change the people you're around, then change the people you're around. A, a lot of people don't understand that, but if you are progressing in your life and the people you're around are not, and you can't get them to progress right along with you, it's time for you to find some new people. And on that note, hmm. we're gonna share our, how many books do you have to share? I have three, but I have two. Okay, and then I have one and probably piggyback off of you. I don't do this, you know I don't read. Well, I mean, I do read, but I don't really read. I listen to podcasts and stuff. So, I decided to go with a book that's actually new. It's a, um, so these are some personal development books, and this is not even personal development. This is like a mix of personal development and like action, something, I don't know. Anyway, it's called This Is Marketing by Seth Godin, 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 Godin right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I just like this book because so far it's helped me figure out- like, Amazing author. Yeah, he's, he's, it's epic. I mean, like, I don't finish books, but I'm almost finished with this book. So, um, this is a great book that you can read. It's not really personal development, but it's a book that I like. So now we can get to the actual point of this video, which would be his books, because he actually knows what he's talking about. So I'll start with the one book that I don't have because I actually gave it away to somebody. I think I'm going to go get it back from. Um, it is The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. That book is amazing. I like to focus on chapter 13, or is it chapter 9? Chapter 9 or 13, which is called, uh, we're going to edit this out while I think about this. We're going to call it the slight edge. Um, <laughs> the, and, those, and that chapter, either 9 or 13, I want to say it's 9, but I want to say it's closer to the end, so it's 13. But one of those chapters, it talks about that in your life, you're going to make one or two decisions. Either you're going to make a simple error in judgment, or you're going to make a simple discipline. And that we're all on this slope. Either we're heading downhill or we're heading uphill. Every time you make a, make a, <laughs> every time you make a, a simple error in judgment, you're going down the slope. Every time you make a simple discipline, you're going up the slope. So anytime I talk about this chapter in the book, I always give my same example. As Kay said, I'm a Grey's Anatomy fanatic and I was in a home-based business and I wanted to go on this top producer's trip. So after reading that book, I realized that me stop, to stop working at eight o'clock p.m is a simple error in judgment when I could have made a simple discipline and recorded Grey's Anatomy and continued to work until 12 o'clock midnight working the West Coast uh, prospects. At the end of those 30 days of doing that, I actually made the top producers trip, but not only that, I was in the top five, so I actually had spending money when I went there. So it was, it was a great uh, experience. I went, I did a, because of that book, I also did a 90 day challenge where I didn't look at the news, I didn't listen to the radio. I didn't listen, watch commercials. Um, I won on a positive mindset of 90 days where all I did was read and listen to personal development CDs in my car. So for 90 days, if you got in my car, all you heard was personal development. There was no radio being played, no Pandora, YouTube. And maybe we should edit that out because they may want to uh, advertise on our channel. You never know. Anyway, um, I didn't listen to anything like that. and. Because of those 90 days back when I was 19 years old, which 
seemed like a long time ago. Um, I still don't watch news to this day. I rarely listen to Pandora, and if it, if I do listen to Pandora, it is Kirk Franklin Station, and if she's in the first of the future station. Hey! Uh, uh, but I do challenge anybody that's watching this video to go on a 90 day fast of negativity. No negativity in your life for 90 days. That's the news, that's radio, that's um, internet, you know, CNN and commenting on uh, um, negative posts on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. Just stay away from negativity for 90 days and just watch how your life change. My second book is the one thing I think she can do a special effect with that. If not, then I'm <laughs> You're sorry. Not look <laughs> <laughs> this is the one thing by Gary Keller, and it also has Jay Papasan. Um, Papasan, Papasan. If you're watching, say, Mama Sam. if you're watching this video, uh, Mr. J, tell me how to pronounce your name. Um, comment it below. <laughs> comment it below. You know, with the little dance parts in between everywhere, I'm supposed to Papasan, but. Uh, but yeah, the one thing, it's a business book. It's more of a business book than a personal development book, but I'm a true believer that any book you read, you can make personal development outside of untrue, untruthful books. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they call fiction or nonfiction, so I'm gonna say, you know, books that lie. Uh, storytellers. Anyway, but this is more of don't a Don't do the storytellers book. though. I've never read Harry Potter. <laughs> I've never read Fifty Shades of Grey. I never read any book that is popular that didn't help me grow personally. How so, you know Harry Potter can't help you pro grow personally? Teach me how to do magic. <laughs> okay, first off, <laughs> that's not the point of the book. <laughs> Back to the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, go to. The one thing is. Hurry up! You're making my video last too long. The video must be seven minutes. Oh, the one thing it's a business book, but I take it as personal development book. And my favorite chapter in this book, oh, dang, I saved it. And I didn't even know I was saving it. But it is chapter five. It's about multitasking. I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as multitasking. Um, that this chapter five has actually helped me get a job. Um, uh, Keisha said this video is supposed to be seven minutes, but I'm sorry when I'm passionate about stuff, I talk a lot. So I'm going to talk a lot about this subject. Chapter five, I was in a job interview and the interviewer asked me, you know, how do I multitask multiple important tasks? And I went to chapter five and I said my favorite quote, to multitask is simply to do more than one thing wrong. <laughs> so. I don't multitask, I don't believe in it. Your mind can only focus on one thing at a time. For those of you that believe in multitasking, do not comment saying that I'm wrong because I know I'm right. Um, but even just to, just to say my case a little bit more truthfully, multitasking is being able to do more than one thing wrong at a time. That's just true. Your mind can only focus on one thing. Now you can task switch. Don't get those uh, mistaken. There's a difference between multitasking and task task switching. Um, last but not least, the QBQ. Now, oh, this love book, this book. This book I brought because I give this book away. If you walk into my office now and look at my book shelf case, bookcase, what is it called? Your bookcase. My bookcase. I have Your bookshelf. My bookshelf. I have about. I 10. think it's both the same. Okay, bookshelf, bookcase. If you walk in my office, I have about ten of these on my bookcase, bookshelf, because. I give these away whenever I run into someone that asks the question, why is this done this way? Or why did they do that? Um, um, uh, when are they gonna correct this? This book teaches you how to ask the question behind the question. That's what QBQ stands for, question behind the question. QBQ is by John G. Miller, another amazing author. Um, I'm giving these books some shout outs. So if y'all, the authors are re watching this, I need to check. Um, but QBQ, question by the question, the formula is every question begins with what or how, it contains an I, and focuses on an action. Again, begins with what or how, contains an I, and focuses on an action. Example, what can I do to make this video end quicker? Uh, <laughs> so, 
that's the question behind the question. Um, again, personal development is a huge passion of mine. I do believe in my one of my favorite quotes. I have many, yeah. but one of my favorite is, uh, you change the way you think, you change your actions, you automatically change your results. But it starts with changing the way you think. You cannot change the way you think by doing the same thing, listening to the same thing, or saying or or involving yourself in the same situation over and over again. Something has to change. Remember my mother. If you can't change the people around you, then what? Change the people around you. Woman. You know, honestly, I kind of got stuck because I wasn't sure yeah. where we were going with this. If you can't change the people around you, you change the people But they don't even know what mom looks like, so. That's fine. They don't need to know what my mom looks like. She fine. She is fine. Look where I get it strange. from. I don't get it from my dad, the truth. Oh. We're going to edit that out. No, I'm keeping that in there and I'll send him this video first. Uh, 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 what's, hey, the, what's that song? Boy, you what? Uh, oh, wait. You ugly. You, ugly. you, you your, your daddy's daddy son. Right? Yep. <laughs> but personal development is a serious matter. Not a joke. No. Anymore. No, but seriously, though. No. Um, so, final tip of the day. If you're wearing a collared shirt and you do not have on a tie, do not button up this top button. I will make fun of you. <laughs> okay. Because you just matter so much. I mean, I am a fashionable person when it comes to dressing professionally. That is true. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, finna I'm not done. Because this boy will keep on talking forever. Okay, I'm gonna get another so book. listen. So I want you guys to comment below and tell us what are your favorite personal development books if you read them, if you don't read them. If you're like me, I listen to podcasts and I think that they work pretty well. Um, and yeah, they do work well. Podcasts are okay. I didn't say anything. I was oh. gonna say, um, do me a favor. Pick up one of the books we talked about and tell me, you know, let's start a discussion on uh, these books. Start over because you looked down and it was like awkward and I had to edit that out. Yeah, because my phone went off. Shout out, I'm important. Uh, <laughs> no, but pick up one of these books we talked about. We're not going to get a royalty check, unfortunately, or a residual <laughs> check or any kind of check for you picking it up so you're not gonna doing us a favor you're actually oh. doing yourself one um but let's start a discussion about one of these books you know qbq uh the one thing i look down again no it's okay that was uh, what i look down the qbq, QBQ one, one thing, thing or my favorite the slight edge. edge yeah i definitely want to talk about that slippery slope oh or you can get this is marketing because i like that book that's a good well seth golden i have not read this is marketing but seth golden is an amazing amazing author, author. yeah yeah so, thanks for watching. Seth, give me a check. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, next video. You want to do another video? Next video. Say have fun.